Hi everyone. So caching dynamics. This is um, really easy. There's just a couple of things to remember. Um, so it depends on the kind of mesh network you have. So mesh can have two types of network. It can either have a mesh network or an instancer network. So when you output a mesh, uh, that means that the output is literally a normal Maya mesh. So you can export to Alembic or Arm Standin or Vero Proxy or Retro Proxy, whatever you want to do. Uh, and if it's an instancer, then you have to cache the network using Maya's built-in particle caching which is also really easy, um, or it's, it's nearly as straightforward. Um, I will go through both. Um, however, uh, if you um, are using the mesh geometry type, which is mesh's default, uh, and you add dynamics, um, if I just hit play here, you've got this, um, just so we can check something's happening. I'll just um, add a collider object. Uh, so there you go. Um, Let's just say we want to cache that out. So if you're doing it in Alembic, I mean, you can you can select this. So I go right click vertices. This has vertices. So anything you can do to a mesh, you can do to this repro mesh. So you could normally uh, like export uh, as an Alembic if you wanted to. Uh, just make sure as normal with mesh stuff that you check uh, um, UVs and color sets if you want to. Um, and then you can just export the uh, time range or whatever. That's fine. Alembic. I've covered that in a different tutorial. I'm not going to go through Alembic now. Um, however, Arnold standings are slightly more interesting. So let's create an Arnold stand-in and we will go export. What you need to make sure you have checked is sequence at the bottom. This is off by default. So check sequence and I'm just going to set this to say something like 60 frames because it's not the fastest thing in the world. And then if I do export selection, I'm just going to choose a folder. I'm going to call this uh, test and I'll just hit save. And then uh, Maya will basically freeze for a few seconds while it exports all of these frames. You don't get any update in the viewport, but don't worry, it's working. Um, I will cut this and skip back when it's done. Okay, so we're done. The export has finished, and um, now this—I mean, this scene is exactly as it was. But if I uh, go into a new scene, and um, let me just drag in my light setup, and uh, what we can do is we go Arnold stand in and create a stand in. And what we do now is we need to go find our exported. Um, uh, stand in so they're in this folder here so let's go and load up the uh, first um, uh, the first stand in and if I just hit play you see nothing really happens because the uh, uh, viewport draw mode is set to bounding box um, so if I change this to say polywire and then if I scrub through the frames here um, I said polywire um, and I scroll through the frames, you can see that we have the exported animation saved. So that's done. That is how you kind of would export um, Mash Dynamics to um, from a repro to an Arnold stand-in. So that's how you would do that. Um, okay, so um, let's say we want to um, do a instance network, an instance network. So let's go apply and close. So. So this second situation is um, slightly less straightforward. So let's, well, it's, it's not really. But, um, let's just give ourselves a few objects. Okay, um, play this back, whatever, boring. <laughs> uh, so let's say we need to cache out the Smash Network. Uh, you do this on the waiter itself and you do it under the caching roll down. So you just go caching, open the cache editor, and then you choose the channels you want to cache. Dynamics affects rotation and position, so that's probably all you want to do. Hit create caches. And if you have your workspace set up correctly, what happens is dynamics has been disabled on this network. So uh, just, just a warning there. So if we go to dynamics, it has been turned off. But... Um, we can scrub through um, the animation fine. So um, we can go backwards and forwards and um, that has worked. So if you've got your workspace set up correctly, this scene is now ready to render. Um, so something slightly more complex happens if you want to cache two networks. So let's just open a new scene and let's make a new network. So this is an instance of network and let's just um, create a, a platonic solid and 
let's create a second mesh network and then this mesh network we're just going to move up let's just rotate it as well something like that um okay so now if i add mesh uh, if i add dynamics to both these networks see what happens we get this okay so there's a bit of interaction between the two networks there now let's say I want to cache uh, this first network. So I open the cache editor and then I want to cache position and rotation. So I create the caches. I rewind the scene so that the caches take effect. And if I play this back now, you see that the second mesh network is now penetrating with the first. It's um, it's not colliding with it anymore and that's even though the first mesh network has its correct animation the second mesh network has now changed because the first mesh network is no longer dynamic because what's the point in caching something if you're just going to leave dynamics on so uh, when we cache a network we automatically turn these dynamics off uh, so if you want to cache the second network what you need to do is turn dynamics back on on the first network so that the collisions happen correctly okay so you can see the collisions are happening correctly on the second network again now what you need to do is go onto the second network and open the caching editor, cache the correct channels, whatever channels you want. It does it one channel at a time, that's why you see that playback twice. Now rewind to the um, uh, caching takes effect. And now that, well if I play this back, the second mesh network has the correct animation the first one doesn't because it doesn't know what's going on because it's got caches and dynamics so you just turn dynamics off on the first network now if you rewind we have the correct results so forwards backwards everything's fine so just remember that if you're caching more than one mash network instancer mash network uh, when you, um, yeah, uh, if you're caching more than one instance of mesh network on the same solver, you need to enable all the dynamics networks um, to get the correct dynamics result when you're caching. And then you can just turn them all off afterwards. So just be aware that that's something that you need to do. Uh, okay, that is just caching and getting everything ready for rendering.